Get ready for spring this weekend with the Brown County Seed Library launch party. Sandy Kalunki joins us live from Green Bay to tell us more. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Rachel. What is the Seed Library? Well, this is our second season. Brown County Library is just one of seven partner organizations that have worked to develop this service for the community. And it is a huge collection of seeds that are specially selected to grow well in our area. And it focuses on veggies and fruits and herbs, but also uh, a number of native wildflowers, because of course, unless you have the pollinators, you're not going to get any fruits and veggies. Um, so we have a huge collection. We're just getting it stocked now for the 2024 season. Okay, so I see peppers in there and you said other fruits and veggies are in there. Give us, can you kind of sift through one of the drawers and show us what's inside? Sure, so for instance, we've got lots of carrots, and like I said, we're just getting, um, I think the tomatoes we've still got to fill. We've got winter squash, uh, a number of different varieties of seeds. So how do we get a hold of these seeds? So they're available free for the public anytime the Central Library is open. So we're here on the second floor um, of the Central Library um, and so we've got this cabinet out here actually year round. Um, there are people who do winter sowing, for instance, um, seed sowing. Um, and we had, an, a, we had a program on that just recently. So it's actually used year round, but right now we're ge gearing up for the, the busy season in terms of uh, getting seeds started indoors for planting a little bit later in the spring. So do you need a library card and how much are the seeds? <laughs> you don't need a library card and it's and it's free um, thanks to donations because this service wouldn't be available without donations that we've received from individuals and um, businesses in the area and also without a huge number of volunteers that that really make make this possible what a wonderful program and there's an event this Saturday can you tell us about that Yes, it's our second annual launch party, this time focusing, of course, on the 2024 season. And we have all of our the different organizations that we work with, uh, the Master Gardeners, New Leaf Incorporated, UW Extension, um, they're all going to be here with information booths, hands-on activities, um, children's uh, activities. We'll have some special story times. And we also have uh, some experts who are going to be presenting on specific topics like how to grow tomatoes from seed, um, invasive pests such as those jumping worms that people are worried about, um, container gardening, um, and planting native wildflowers and taking care of them in your yard. Well after today I think people will really be itching to get their garden growing and going so this Saturday will be a perfect opportunity to stock up on some seeds. Sandy thank you so much. And if you want to learn more, we'll put that information on our website. Usher in the gardening season with a special event this weekend. It is time to start planning. Master Gardener Eileen Reedon is at the Brown County Library in downtown Green Bay to tell us about this event and her role in it. Good morning, Eileen. Good morning, Rachel. This is Eileen, and I will be doing either seed tape or seed germination. These are all hands-on activities that the kids and adults can do this week Saturday to take back, and they can plant the seeds then in their own home garden. Well, why don't you show us how to do that seed tape, if you don't mind? Um, you can use either toilet paper or um, cray paper, and we are going to mark every two inches a dot that you can plant your seeds in. So if you mark it, and then this is a mixture, our glue is a mixture of flour and water, equal parts, and you just dab it into the dots. It's easy for kids and adults to do, to take home. The strips are about two feet long, two to three feet, something easy to handle. Today I chose parsley, and you put one or two seeds in each of the spots. The parsley seed's a little bit bigger than like a lettuce or carrot. And with the two or three, depends upon germination. And the flour mixture will help hold the seeds 
into the strip uh, for the seed planting. We do this because the seeds are so small because when you're planting in the, your garden, it's hard to know what the seeds are. And then you would fold the tape over. Once you have the seeds, you can fold it in half oh. and that should hold and glue the seeds in, in place. So then when you're done, you can take that strip this spring, the end of May, and plant it in your garden and all the seeds would be evenly spaced. Yeah, I mean, I hear what she said. Not into, don't plant them now, get it ready, but don't plant now. What do you think of the seed library? Oh, it's a great event for all the general public to come and to get the free seeds. It's maybe some seeds you couldn't afford or just a good variety and it helps you to get gardening. You don't need a lot of space to get gardening to start in your garden. And it really is just a great opportunity for all of the area in Brown County. Eileen, thanks so much for spending some time with us this morning and showing us that seed tape. I know you're going to be showing that and a few other things, a few other projects during the event this Saturday at the downtown branch of the Green Bay Library. It's a story time for kids too, and you can pick up a few books while you're there on gardening. We'll put all the information on our website, fox11online.com. Thanks, Eileen. Have a wonderful day.